department provides instant revenue. But it depends on whether patients are coming to that department. So you are building a new hospital and you are planning to launch a department, for example. Wise thinking is that you launch a department for which there is demand in that area or there is no competition in that area. You don't launch a department where already there are five, six doctors available in that specialty. No? That is one way of thinking. The moment you launch a department, you will get patients. For example, there are 10 orthopedicians. One rheumatology will take the old ortho practice. Right? There are so many general physicians. One diabetologist will take diabetes. Correct? Similarly, one cardiologist will take the cardiologist. There are so many MBBS doctors. One general physician will take away the general cases. Still, because patients will think that he is an MD. When this basic knowledge all the doctors they know no we have seen this you know history told us there is no specialty you are going with that specialty automatically attraction comes the problem is our people they are happy with that specialty and they stay like that unless you expand the specialty in that specialty okay how are you going to get more and more patients or retain more patients i am a general physician i am i am having good base. But over a period of time when diabetologist comes, neurology, nephrology, cardiology, pulmonology comes, all those patients go away. No? So probably what should I do? In general physician, you start an ICU. You say that I manage critical cases. That way you will retain again because you become the center for critical patients or you launch diabetology clinics. If you are just an MBBS doctor, you have a hospital or a general physician, you have a hospital or a surgeon, you have a hospital. You want instant revenue to increase. Again, wisdom says, don't go for a, another department because you have to pay, you have to go for all the you know, other paraphernalia. You have to depend on that specialist. Simplest thing is, in your own department, because you already have people, patients coming for you, start an ICU. The moment you start an ICU, you become super specialist in that area for that department because you have started to treat all the high-risk patients in that discipline. This applies to everybody, any department for that matter of fact. That will add instant revenue to you. Why? Number one, you are already referring out critical patients outside. Okay. That loss will be stopped, which is nothing but a leaking bucket. Second thing, you are already not taking high risk surgeries. They are elective. They are not emergencies. That is second thing. Third thing, your community has been seeing you for some time that you don't have an ICU. So they don't even knock at your door. They will just keep going to the other hospitals. The moment you launch, they will come to you. Fourth, your own colleagues, doctors with your own you know, fraternity who are good with you, they can be empaneled for ICU. No? They can, they actually shift their own patients to ICU because you started a service which they don't have. If you are friendly with them, that will come now. So by putting an ICU, there will be instant revenue. What we have seen in our practice, you know, in our uh, experience with all the hospitals is that in a, in a span of one to two years time, most of the hospitals, overall hospital turnover, has increased definitely by 50%. And some people have touched it double who have actually launched departments and did some proper uh, market communication. But even otherwise, just by stopping the leakage of your own practice, you can actually add 50% uh, more to your uh, existing revenue. So to summarize, if you are a single specialty or if you have few specialties, instant revenue comes from having a good ICA. You already have a good ICU, you have some specialties, you want to have a, you know, adding more revenue, it comes from adding more department. You have no hospital, you want to launch a hospital, I want an instant revenue, choose a specialty which is not available there. You have, you are starting a hospital, but you have no other option but to launch the same specialty which is already available there. Then innovate in that specialty. As I said before, add ICU and add some other extra uh, features of that specialty. That is how you actually get instant success. Thank <laughs> you.